Did you know that Inforex WS Pro directly connects to SCADA or telemetry data? In this video, I'm going to explain the direct integration of leading SCADA platforms in Inforex WS Pro. I'm also going to demonstrate how to utilize recorded field data, also known as live data, in Inforex WS Pro. Inforex WS Pro directly connects to SCADA or telemetry data. A live data configuration object provides the link between the software and one or more logger data files or telemetry databases. The live data point view is used to specify logger information and location of live data files, while the live data logon view is used to specify connection to one or more telemetry databases. There are many database types supported by Inforex WS Pro. In this example, I'm connected to a SQL Server database running as an intermediate link to my historian data. When available, direct connection to SCADA systems such as PI, iHistorian, and Clear SCADA is also supported. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to utilize recorded field data, also known as live data, in Inforex WS Pro. First, is the ability to update control set points, also known as boundary conditions. For example, I'd like to update all my reservoir set points based on historic or near real-time data. Notice a table of all my reservoir assets, including their corresponding initial levels and live data connection. I can then go to network, control time interval, set the start and end periods say today, around midnight, for the next 24 hours. Then click OK. InfoWorks will prompt if I'd like to update controls from live data. I'll click Yes. And note that all initial reservoir levels are updated based on my start period. I can then use the updated set points in my simulation. Second is the ability to compare observe versus simulated values. In this workspace, I have two key assets, namely a flow meter and a storage reservoir with associated field data. I can quickly graph my simulated flows through my meter, add some historic data, and compare values for my 3-day simulation as well as my reservoir depths and confirm if I'm having good correlation. Apart from looking at individual assets, I can also generate a table comparing my observed versus predicted values by going to results, grid reports, observed versus predicted, and select for example all my simulated flows against recorded flows. From this summary table, I can perform gap analysis wherein I can identify model locations or assets that are performing well or poorly against actual system performance. 